Welcome everyone to this uh, live stream. So in this live stream, I'm going to show you how to create a an interactive PDF in Corel Draw. So a, an interactive PDF, uh, wherein if I'm in the PDF uh, document, when you click on a link, it goes to another page of the document. Uh, say for example, if I click on the link to, that goes to page two, when you click on that link or a button, it goes to page two, and then it also goes to um, some other. You can also set the, um, say for example, a link going to to the browser, to the web. So let's um, so let's start. So so this is I prepared a document. This is just a fictitious document. So as you notice, this is just a, or a placeholder words placeholder so uh, so this is my cover and then this is my in internal pages so if you notice I've got page 2 page 3 page 4 and page 5 so if I go to page 2 here what I did I prepared uh, thumbnails of off page this is page 2 3 4 and 5 right so I'm just going to put this in the uh, in here and then I also prepared a, a, uh, a text so that what we're going to do is we're going to hyperlink this, this to, to the pages within the PDF. So, uh, but we are going to copy this. So later on, once we configure the, the links here, we're going to copy this one and then put it in the, in the other pages. That's why I didn't paste it yet because we haven't configured the, the hyperlinks yet, right? So, uh, so for example here, so let's start with, so what I did, I made thumbnails at the same time, also, I also made links here, like text links so that you would understand. So the first thing you have to do if, uh, if you're in CorelDRAW 2020, uh, you have to go to window and then you go to toolbars and then you click on internet okay because this is not checked so if you click on internet this this on the right side will show up so in the, this right side you will see uh, the we we are going to create assign a link a hyperlink to the web object or bookmark so we're going to use that one so before you before clicking on that you have to highlight if this is a text you highlight the text right and then you go to this one here so once I click on this button assign a hyperlink it will give me a link if it's an outside link so for example www.coreldraw.com so you're gonna put it here make sure to use the HTTPS I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, have that example later but right now we are going to page 2 top of page 2 because this one is in page two, if you take a look here, right? So now if for this one, amazing gradient pattern, I know that's in page three, okay? So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go to this drop down, and I'm going to go top of page three, right? And then for this one, I'm gonna, I'm going to um, highlight this again and then click on this, uh, icon or this and then for the drop down you click on page four on top of page four and the last one would be on top of page five okay drop down on top of page five okay so we already set that right so now for this one this is the same thing so I click on this and then we go to uh, this icon for assign a hyperlink and then I'm going to make this page 2 this one would be page 3 this one would be page 4 okay on top of page 4 and the last one would be on top of page 5 so if you want to check, just click on the on the object and just click here, and then you'll see it goes to page two. 
right? Okay, so now we are ready to paste. But before before uh, pasting it, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how about a link going outside, right? Not to the page, but but to a website. So I'm going to type in here. So make sure you have to type in the whole URL. So I'm going to go to CorelDraw.com. I'm going to type in here, Control C. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the word CorelDraw.com. Okay. And then say, for example, I'm going to put it, I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees, I mean 90 degrees, and then I'll put it here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, right? Sorry, not there, it's here. So hyperlink, assign hyperlink, and then see this link here? I'm going to paste the actual URL. So don't forget to include the HTTPS okay because that sh it should be the whole uh, the whole yeah the whole URL and I click there that's it right so once you click here if you want to double check it goes here all right so now we are going to just gonna double check Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to copy this navigation. So, so we're gonna call this navigation, right? And also this link. So hold down shift and select this one here, right? So we are copying, see, we're copying that, control Z. So I'm gonna uh, click on control C to copy. And I'm going to go to page three and then control V to paste go to page four control v to paste and then page five control v to page uh, to paste okay so now let's go to uh, page two here so in page two because since it's in page two um there's no uh, there's no point of making a like a thumbnail for this page two because you are already in page two so it's better to to make it transparent so I'm gonna go to my uniform transparency and then say I'm just gonna make that uh, let's just say 80% something like that it's just showing that you are already in page 2 right and then if you want you can also remove this creating graffiti uh, you can just like highlight that and then go here and then just delete this there oops sorry sorry my mistake you can't actually do that because it's a paragraph unless you can um, unless you're gonna break this apart but we're not going to do that so anyway so I'll go to page 3 so for page 3 so this is page 3 so I'm going to make that transparent uh, 80% okay and then go to page four. So this is the icon for the thumbnail for page four. So I'm just going to make it transparent, uh, type in 80. So basically you're, you're like creating a website. I mean, a website is like an interactive website, but actually it's a PDF. So go to page five and then make this transparent. And I'll make that 80, okay? So let's review that. So if I'm in page one, uh, page two, okay, that one is not highlighted. It means to say you can click on these three thumbnails here. So page three, page four, and page five. Okay, so now we are ready to export it as a PDF. So you go to file and then click on publish to PDF. So when you click on publish to PDF, so this is an important um, thing. So I'm just going to make this smaller here. So the most important thing here is that you go to settings. So I'm going to name this um, uh, interactive PDF. Okay. 
So go to settings and then make sure that you have to make sure that the um, the you click on document and make sure that the to include hyperlinks and generate bookmark if you want but this is optional but the most important thing here is to include hyperlinks okay and I am going to click OK and there you go and then save okay so that's save so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that I'm gonna go to my other monitor here and I'm going to open that PDF so it's in here just one sec I'm just gonna refresh this okay so here I'm going to uh, we named it PDF okay so I'm gonna open it now and yeah so this is what I have right now so I'm opening it up in Adobe Acrobat so I'm gonna go full screen I mean full page so this is, this is a full page this is page one and then I go page two right so you notice that that it did so see this one it since it's a hyperlink you see that there is the the hand icon changes to a hyperlink so say for example I'm gonna go to page 5 so click on that now it goes to page 5 right and then this one page 4 very good and page 2 okay so you can navigate so this is great especially if you have a lot of pages in your PDF and then you want your viewer to to kind of make it interactive like you know they, they can skip to one they don't need to scroll scroll right so and also this one let's try this one so in creating say for example let's go to easy image mask so you click on that now it goes there right apply colors amazing gradient and create graffiti now let's try the um, this link here for Corel draw see if it go like this again the hand creates a hyperlink uh, indication so if I click on that it says here this is basically a normal security warning it just says that do you want to allow to go to the other to the to a website outside of the PDF so if you click on allow then it goes to here to the website okay okay so that is uh, very simple I think that's going to be useful if some clients uh, wanted to create an interactive PDF and an interactive PDF is is, is better than a non-interactive so yeah so I hope you like that tutorial and I hope it's going to be useful in your projects and uh, yeah so I will see you next time and uh, enjoy and bye for now